Hi guys, welcome to Assess Bushcraft and Survival. Bushcraft here and uh, today we're doing round two. Uh, I think that we could both agree that uh, the last one was a fail. A um, couple of reasons. Uh, unlike normal, I would say that you've got to go out, you've got to be prepared, you've got to have done the things that you're planning on doing. Uh, otherwise, you've got to be in a safe environment where you can practice the things that you're planning on doing. Uh, I wasn't a safe environment, I wasn't in any danger, I wasn't trying to get out of the elements, trying to do something I didn't do, so I guess that's one tick on that, uh, on that particular checklist. But I didn't necessarily, and again it was part of the video why, I didn't go out of my way to figure out what I would be doing, should be doing, or any particular troubles, trials, tribulations that I might necessarily fall into. Uh, finding a couple of trees that this out of the box pack is going to work with is, uh, is difficult because trees aren't necessarily growing specifically at distances that are good for the lengths of rope in here. They give you about two meters of rope, two lengths of two meters of rope, uh, which in some cases is barely enough to get around one of the trees that you might find. Um, in this case, you can see over here, I've got a tree that's at least as thick as me. That meter rope is probably gonna do nothing for it. So with that in mind, I brought lots of rope. Uh, this is actually the same rope that I used last time I was up that way. Uh, but of course last time it was also not as sunny as today. So I put up a shelter, used all my rope, and, um, and I guess it doesn't matter how much rope you have, you always want more, because it's better to have more rope than, uh, than not. Anyway guys, uh, you're going to see me now try and set up a couple of loops around these trees that I've got here, and try and set up this, uh, this hammock, and see if we can have some better success. So here we go guys. Time lapse starts now. Alrighty, so uh, as we can see, I've successfully set up this uh, camping hammock. I think it's time to, uh, to turn it in for the night. Oh. This is Seth Bushcraft and Survival. I'm Bushcraft, and have a good night. Alrighty guys, Bushcraft here once again. Look, could you just be quiet for one moment? So, if the last video was a fail video, this video is an actual absolute shambles. Um, no, look, I shouldn't go that far. I will say this. Um, I've learnt a lot from this video. I might come over to the camera and, and address you a little bit closer. Just, just bear with me. But... Uh, what I would say was going to be the closest I was going to come to success has floundered because of the, um, I guess, the cheap nature of the hammock. Let's be honest, I've, I've set it up and taken it down so many times, it was probably bound to happen. But uh, I put it under so much tension. Um, as it turns out, that's, that's because I'm trying to compensate for slack. But, uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but there's a big, there's a big hole right here. So this isn't helping anybody right now. You might be able to see it from there, I don't think, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you in to some closer looks on what this setup is, what the thinking was behind it, and why I think this might have worked had the hammock itself not actually failed. So, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hit pause on this and uh, I'll talk to you in a second. Hopefully you can see that. There's a big hole where my body's supposed to be. Alrighty guys, so closer look on what's going on here. There's the big hole. Here's the hammock. Hammock, as you can see, has a bit of slack. It looks a little bit more like a hammock in general. Look at it, look at it. It's like a kite now, it's great. Um, so before, 
in the first video, as as a noob, I was trying to uh, to hook this thing up to a couple of ridge lines because there just wasn't enough cordage to deal with it. And uh, and with that in mind, obviously you've got compounding slack upon all the lines, and it wasn't going to um, wasn't going to hold my weight, which is fair. It makes a lot of sense now that I say it out loud. But at the time, you know, I thought, why not? Why not give it a go? Um, so what I've done here, you can see there's the attachment point. Um, I've got a, uh, a bowl and loop here, a little bowl and knot, and a loop, so that's going to keep that static. Uh, tree attachment, nice and high. Again, another bowl and loop with it coming through there. So I can adjust the, uh, the tension on here. I've got this little loop system here. So I've just got a uh, captured loop there run the line back on through and then just toggle it off to keep it there. If I wanted to do, uh, if I wanted to have this hang higher, then obviously I just, uh, I pull on, take the toggle out, pull on that, decrease the slack. Same thing happening on the other side there. And um, because this isn't uh, a complex array of loops or, um, or ridge lines, it, it should mean that it's going to carry the load directly to the tree and have the tree support the weight and then it's just the uh, the flexing nature of the material that would uh, that would then be the only slack point um, I'm pretty sure that if it hadn't uh, if it hadn't given way this might actually have been a, a real success so uh, <laughs> given how how cheap this was even though I haven't had to or haven't gotten to spend any time in in the hammock enjoying myself, I guess you could say that I've learnt a lot, and uh, hopefully I can I can pass that knowledge on to you guys. And um, look, you know what? I'd be willing to to spend another twenty bucks and, and get one of these tents again and uh, and see how I go the second time around. But um, anyway, guys, you've been watching Assess Bushcraft and Survival. I'm bushcraft and uh, stay safe in the bush.